Good day everyone. In today's discussion of speed of sounds in solid, liquid, and gas, let's start our explanation or our example in this problem. Estimate the speed of a sound in a solid such as steel, which has a density of 8,000 kg per cubic meter, which has an elastic modulus of 200 times 10 raised to 9 pascals. We all know that the speed of sound, such as B, is equal to the Young's modulus, the Young's modulus over the density. By this time, we have the given elastic modulus or the Young's modulus which is 200 times 10 raised to 9 pascals over the density of a steel, which is 8,000 kilogram meter cube. So we have 8,000 kilogram meter cube. So if we compute 200 times 10 raised to 9 divided by 8,000 and get the square root of it, we get the speed of sound in steel or in a solid, which is 5,000 meter per second. It is a little bit, it's a bigger number. Now, let's compute the speed of sounds in liquid. Estimate the speed of sound in a liquid such as water, which has a density of 1,000 kg per cubic meter, which has a bulk modulus of 2.18 times 10 raised to 9 pascals. So, the speed of sound in water or in liquid is equal to the square root of the bulk modulus over the density. We have given a bulk modulus which is 2.18 times 10 raised to 9 pascals and we have the density of 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. So, if we compute 2.18 times 10 raised to 9 over 1000 and get the square root, we get 1, speed of sound in a liquid which is 1,476 meter per second. So that's the speed of sound. And that's a, that is only an estimation. Now, we are going to calculate the speed of sound in air. So we have this given problem. Calculate the speed of sound in air at 20 degrees Celsius. The ratio of heat capacities is 1.4. And air is composed of 78% nitrogen gas, which has 28.02 grams per mole, and 21% of oxygen gas, which has 32 grams per mole, and 1% argon, which has 40 grams per mole. The first thing that we need to know is the equation for sound in air, which is speed of sound in air is equal to gamma times r which is the ideal gas constant and the temperature all over its smaller mass or the average molar mass so let's get first all the given the gamma here which is the value of 1.4 Gamma represent the heat capacity, so we have 1.4. Now, 
the uh, ideal gas constant is equal to 8.3145 joules per mole times Kelvin. So that's the value of R. Now, the temperature in this given problem, we have 20 degrees Celsius. But, we are going to look temperature in Kelvin. So, what are we going to do? Let's add 273. So, we have now 293 Kelvin. Now, we are looking for the average molar mass. But what is the average molar mass? The average molar mass, if we are going to compute, we have this. We have a given element of nitrogen. And nitrogen is 14.01 gra 14 grams per mole. But since it is in nitrogen gas, so we... We multiply it to 2. So we have now 28.02 grams per mole. 28.02 grams per mole. And since nitrogen gas is 78%, so let's multiply it to 0.78. Then plus the oxygen, which is 16 grams per mole. But by this time, since it is an oxygen gas, let's multiply it to 2. So we get 32 grams per mole. So we have 32. And oxygen gas is 21%. So let's multiply it to 0.21. And argon, which is 40 grams per mole, we have 40. And it is a 1%. So we multiply it to 0.01. So, if we compute it, we get 29 grams per mole. But we need to convert it in SI unit. So, we need grams to become a kilogram. So, let's convert it. 29 grams per mole. We are going to com convert it into kilogram. So, we have 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So, let's compute it. So, we are going to cancel the grams. Now, 29 divided by 1,000, we get 0 0.029 kilogram per mole. So, the value of our average molar mass is 0 0.029 kilogram per mole now we are all get the given the given values so the the second thing or the next thing that we are going to do is just simply substitute it on the equation of our speed of sound in air so let's substitute all the values so we have the heat capacity, which is 1.4. We have the ideal gas constant, which is 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. And we have the temperature in Kelvin, which is 293 Kelvin. Over the average molar mass, which is 0 0.029 kilogram per mole. If we are going to compute it on our calculator, we get the speed of sound in air, which is 343 meter per second. Now, let's review all the things that we done earlier we all know that the speed of sound in solid is equal to 5000 meter per second based on our estimation earlier 
and the speed of sound in water is equal to 1,476 meter per second. And our speed of sound in air is equal to 343 meter per second at 20, degree, at 20 degrees Celsius. Based on this, we come up to the conclusion that B solid is greater than the B water or the speed of sound in water. And air or the speed of sound in air are the smallest or get the smallest value. So that's the relationship of the speed of sound in different mediums. But if we are going to answer, what is the speed of sound in space? So what is the speed of sound in space? The only explanation of the speed of sound in space, the speed of sound in space is zero. Because there is no sound in space sound is a pressure wave which means sound needs to travel in matter such as solid water or in gases but since space has no air molecules there is no sound in space so there is no such thing that sound in space because there is no things or there are no particles that the sound can travel. That's all. Thank you.